Oh, fuck. I am Sonnet. I am your favorite stoner mom from the internet. I'm going to be making a ginbong, of course. Oh, what better way to celebrate October 1st than smoking out of a pumpkin? I used to cut open the pumpkin, pour water into it, stem, and my mouthpiece. I was watching That High Couple, and they actually had a small pumpkin like this, and they simply just put one whole <laughs> bowl and then one hole for the mouthpiece. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? Picked up this little pack. I figured this would be perfect because it's shorter, and this is a very small pumpkin. I'm gonna put it right about there. I don't want to do it too big because if you do it too big, then that air quality won't be as good as you want it to be. So I'm going to start out little like this, and then I'm just going to kind of twist. I haven't smoked today either, so this is my first time smoking for the day with you guys. So that is how big I want it to be. So I'm just going to kind of pull that out. It should slide right in. Because pumpkins are hollow, this actually should work. The secondary stem for my mouthpiece. I'm going to go ahead and put our secondary hole about midway down so that I can still kind of function. Twist. A tiny little like home kitchen knife would do just fine. I'll put the stem in and see how much smaller it is. So I'm glad I didn't go crazy on it, right? It's an airtight. Oh my God, that worked out really perfectly. Oh, here's what our pumpkin bong looks like done so now that i have my pumpkin bong all assembled i'm gonna go ahead and load it up I hope you guys are enjoying the Spooky Chronicles. Please drop it in the comments if you get to turn on your bell notifications so that every time I post, go live, or anything, any kind of interaction on YouTube, I actually grew up in a haunted house. Well, I contacted both my mom and my dad to see if they recalled any old stories from our home growing up. Every single person in our family has. They were the ones that drummed up all of this craziness with their energy and they didn't know. Spooky, scary skeletons. So when I brought this up to my dad, spookier um, occasions in his life was he didn't get along with my grandmother's husband. So that would be my step grandfather. I never got along with him. He said he was very nasty, negative, not the nicest person. My dad had always wanted to make amends with this man for many years. Even after my grandmother divorced him, he still wanted to make amends. My dad's not the type of personality that he doesn't get along with a lot of people. He's very likable and lovable. So I kind of clear the air about it one night and he fell asleep. And then he ended up having a dream of this man whom he hadn't talked to for many, many years, said, hey, I just want to say I'm sorry and I want to make amends and I want to make it right. And I know I wasn't the nicest guy, the nicest person, but I want to say I'm sorry. My dad woke up the next morning and it really, really encouraged him to call him and tell him that he was sorry. And he wanted to do it just like he had received that apology in his dream. My grandmother called my father that very next day. That gentleman had passed away. 
So you have to wonder, wow, like he passed away that prior night when my dad was having that dream. I tell you that my dad is clairvoyant in some way. Maybe he has a connection, very, very strong connection to the other side like I do. Or it tells you how strong the power of spirit can be. Maybe that gentleman wanted to pass over too many untied ends, or maybe he just felt the draw towards my dad to say goodbye and I'm sorry. Think about asking my dad to maybe film with me. I'd definitely get my brother back on camera with me to tell some spooky stories for you guys. Just to fucking look and like hang out, sesh, and just talk to people that you feel like you know and can jive with and maybe you're feeling lonely and these stories have been your company and helping you uh, there's people saying that they watch my videos and it inspires them to make videos so i just you know i love making videos with you guys this is really fun it's so easy did you see how quick i did that that was in real time i just went boom wink and boom. I'm thinking of going to my friend's shop downtown and going here hit this and just seeing what he says For all my moms out there, here's a little, I got you, I got you. Who's gonna know? How would they know? They'll never know. Who gives a fuck anyways, but I mean, at least recycle the pumpkin. Uh, go probably take a nap. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea and drink some water and orange juice probably. I'm uh, I will see you guys next time. Oh gosh. I could stay here all day because it's so nice how we could. Uh -uh. Oh my. Oh, like I would actually, I would actually put this on like my nightstand like a weirdo. I don't know. This is me. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you next time. Is that bad? <laughs> Is that Pat and Oswald? What? Is that Pat and Oswald? No. Are you sure? If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by.